Hello everybody, welcome to another video from EGIS Associates, now part of the Davy Resource Group. So this video is based on a request we had from uh, one of the, the viewers of a past video. They really wanted to know how do you download and install uh, ArcGIS desktop and ArcGIS Pro software. So figured I'd throw this one together. It's not very hard to do and um, show you all that process. Now, in general terms, you have to, of course, first purchase a software license or have access to a software license. And there are several ways to do that. Um, you can request a trial license through the ESRI website. Maybe your organization has licenses already. Um, of course, you can go to the Esri website and purchase licenses. There's a lot of different ways you can make that happen. We'll talk about some of that uh, in just a moment. Then you're going to go to the my.esri.com website. So once you purchase a license, um, first thing you'll get eventually an email confirming that purchase and give you the link and some login information you'll need to go to the my.esri.com site. Uh, from there, that's where you actually will download the software. Once you get on that site, you're going to click on the My Organization tab. And then from there, click on Downloads. And then uh, pick the application you want to download. Is it ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Desktop, um, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so on. Uh, so once you do that, figure out which one you want. You're going to click on the View Downloads button. Uh, within that, it's going to open up a uh, another page with a bunch of options, a bunch of different files. You have the main install files for the application. There may be some updates or patches there. There may be um, data files that you can download for source data information. There may be some files for extensions, like the data interoperability extension or that kind of thing that you uh, can download. So you'll once you figure out what you want, you select the download button there. It's going to download the files to your computer. Then you're going to run the download uh, downloaded installation files to install that application, that patch, that data set, or whatever it is. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the process um, in kind of a live demo, I guess, is what we're going to say. Here. So first thing we're going to do is open our web browser. So I've already got uh, my browser open and we're going to start with purchasing the software. If you don't already have it, how do you do that? So you can go to ESRI.com. That's the Esri website and it'll take you, uh, direct you to the appropriate one for where you're from, right? Then you're going to go up here to products and you'll select the ones you want. We're talking about the desktop products, so we're going to click GIS and Mapping Products. And then we will go to ArcGIS Pro, since that's what we're discussing uh, right now. Now, once you're here, you can go ahead and get an overview of the applications, uh, the features included with the application, in this case, ArcGIS Pro. Right. Uh, resources that might be available to you from here, so to tr how to try it. Um, doing basic things like visualization of data, some like help demo type uh, resources. You'll get to the blog from here, any news, see what's new in the latest release. Uh, you can see what's coming in future releases from the roadmap over here. And then Things like how to get started using it, how to create maps and other things, video tutorials and stuff. Anyway, all here on the resource page. You can click on the free trial. So you can sign up for the free trial right here. So that's a 21 day free trial. And then if you're ready to purchase a license, you have a couple of options here. So if you're a, a business, a for profit business like EGIS Associates, then you'd pick. You need the basic, standard, or advanced level, and we have a video that kind of describes the capabilities of those different license levels. So you would add that to the cart and go next. I'm not obviously going to do that because um, I already have licenses, so you'd pick that. 
if you're an individual, right? So if you are just a private person that wants to use this to learn, you want to use it to uh, maybe try out some different functionality, to take some online classes, whatever, um, then you can use one of these uh, options here. So the for personal use, it's $100 a year. You get a whole bunch of uh, stuff. You can get desktop advanced licenses, most of the extensions with it. You're going to get an ArcGIS Online account to go with it and, and so on. So you can use this for any basically any purpose that you're not getting paid for, right? So this can be for your own education purposes. It could be for just trying to keep skills up. Maybe you've transitioned to a different job that does different things, but you don't want to lose those skills you had in the last job. So you may want to practice those because if you don't use it, you'll lose it, right? So you can do that. If you want to do volunteer work for something like your RISA's GIS core, um, or for your local church or school or something, again, it's volunteer. You're not getting paid to do it you're you're volunteering time to do it you could use this license for that uh, the student use license this is going to be uh, strictly for education purposes you're taking classes and those kind of things there so the same hundred dollar per year uh, with that and I'm not sure if you have to actually be enrolled in school for this one to work I, I personally would just go with the personal use if you gotta pay for both of these um, this definitely has some good flexibility in it so you're going to choose whether you're a business or an individual. Now, if you don't fit into one of these categories, you work for a local government agency, uh, you're a nonprofit, you work for an educational institution, then you're going to have to contact Esri directly and try to find the account rep that deals with your area, whether, again, government, nonprofit, um, or educational uh, institution, and they can give you special pricing because there is special pricing for those types of organizations. So once you've made your purchase, um, then you're going to be getting an email from Esri that tells you how to access the myesri.com uh, website. So if I go up here, so I'm gonna type in the my.esri.com address, click OK to that. Now, I've already been here. Uh, the first thing it will ask you to do is to log in. So you'll actually have to log into the site. Uh, obviously, I don't want to display my login, so I, I've already pre-logged in, but I think most of us know how to log into a website, so I'm not going to worry about that. Once you get logged in, right, you're going to be taken to uh, this part of the myesri.com page, and that's your dashboard. So this is going to be a general overview of things that have been posted, uh, news and whatnot there. You can get to common questions. You can ask a question and things like that. But we're talking about downloading software. So we're going to focus that way. So I'm going to go over here where it says my organization or organizations. Click here. And then this is going to tell you a little bit about the organization and things of, of that uh, in here. And then I'm going to go to where it says downloads here. Okay. So this is where we're going to go to download the software that we want to download. So these are the titles. So ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Desktop, that's your Arc Map and Arc Catalog. Now I should say this, right now when you purchase a license of ArcGIS Pro, you get a corresponding license of ArcGIS Desktop. So Arc Map and Arc Catalog, that older application. So you would at a minimum have both of these available to you uh, for download. Okay. ArcGIS 4 desktop is the older version. See, this is 10.4. Okay, so at 10.5, Esri renamed it to ArcGIS desktop, got rid of the 4. I don't ask me why. I don't know. Okay. But then any other licenses you may have available to you for download will be in here. You can see I've got quite a few. Okay. Then you can choose the version. So if you want to go back, so 2.5 is the current version of ArcGIS Pro, but if you needed to go back to 2.4 or 2.3 or 2.2, now they do limit. You can't go all the way back. Like you can't go back to 1.4 or 1.2 or whatever. Um, they do keep it within the current, uh, what's the word? The current primary version, I guess. Uh, so being 2, right? So you've got that. 
uh, ArcGIS desktop, so you get 10.8, which is the current version, uh, at least at the time of shooting this video, 10.7.1, 10.7, 10.6, all the way back to 10.5. And then if you need to back before that versions of ArcMap, then you'll go to this ArcGIS for desktop, and that takes you to 10.4 and goes all the way back to uh, 10.3. So if you have to go back further than that, uh, good luck. <laughs> you may have to contact Esri for those. Okay, so once you've picked, so I'm going to go ahead and go with ArcPro 2.5. I'm going to click View Downloads. So from here, this takes you to the page that lists all of the files that you can download that are associated with that version. So here, Art Pro, uh, this 1.67 gigabyte download is the primary installation file. So I'd click that and download it. Then I have patches, uh, 2.5.1, 2.5.2. .2, so I'd want to download those as well. With Art Pro, there is an offline help you have to download if you want to use offline help. So you'd need to download that. If you have the data interoperability extension for Arc Pro, you'd want to download that. If you're working with ArcGIS uh, indoors for Pro, you would download that. Then we have other data files. So if you deal a lot with coordinate systems and some of those that maybe are just the default ones don't work, you need more information, you can download those here. If you have um, uh, the raster data extension or airports and charting all these ex these are extensions here uh, or add-ons you can download those and anyway you get the idea there's a bunch of other things you can download depending on what you're licensed for and the environment you're you're working in right here's language pack so if you're not from the United States or where English is a primary language you know in Canada in most of Canada not meaning anything against Quebec, um, but if you are in Quebec and you want the, you know, French, then you'll have to download the French language pack and install it. If you're um, in Italy, right, the Italian pack or Japan or so forth, so on, right? So you've got those that are available, okay? So once you figure out what you want, you just click the download button and it will download the files. Now, I'm not going to do that because it takes forever to download. These are big files, but you click that and usually I'm in Chrome. You'll see the download showing up somewhere down here. And then when it's complete, you know, it's available for you. Typically when you download that, it's going to download it to your downloads folder on your PC. So you can see it here. Uh, this is the main download file or install file, I should say for ArcGIS Pro. And then here are the two patches, uh, 5.1 and 5.2, that I've also downloaded. So once you've downloaded them, uh, you're going to start with the primary install file that you've downloaded. And simply double click it. It's going to bring up this window, which is where it's going to actually unzip or unpackage the install files. Right, so it's going to go to this location. You can choose to change this. So if you happen to have a server, a file server, for example, like I do uh, here, I could choose to uninstall this to that file server if I wanted to. Then others could access the files for installation without having to go re-download them all the time. So it really depends on what you're doing. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the defaults at this point moment uh, because I'm the only one that I want to install the application. So by default it's going to go to your documents folder and it's going to create this ArcGIS Pro 2.5 or 2.6 whatever version you have to be downloading at that time. Um, or if you're doing the Arc Desktop it's going to be ArcGIS Desktop 2.8 you know, whatever, again, matching up with whatever version you're downloading. So I'm going to go next. It's now extracting those uh, files out to that location, unzipping them. If you've ever worked with zip files, it's basically what we're doing. So that you can run the run the install. And we, we package those, or as we packages all of this stuff together to make the file sizes smaller for you to download. I mean, 1.7 gigabytes is pretty big to start with. Um, <clears throat> 
but you know anyway you, you get the idea so it's now done uh, unzipping the install package to that location notice we've got a little checkbox here launch the setup program so if you were doing this to a file server where others are going to be installing you don't need to install maybe you're the network admin i don't know whatever you would uncheck the box and then just click uh, close we do want to run the install so we're going to leave that box checked and click close now it's going to launch the setup program for arcgis pro so read the little you know read the little text here i'm not i'm go through it most of us probably don't read it anyway then we're going to click next here is your licensing agreement so make sure you read through that if you've never done so you can print a copy of it but uh, to install you must accept it okay so then we're going to click next do you want anyone on this computer or only you to use it again up to you i'm going to leave it with anyone um, you may have difference in your organization, but like I said, I'm going to go with anyone and click next. This is where it's going to install it to your C drive program files, ArcGIS Pro. If you want it to go to a different location, you can change it here. I typically recommend accepting the defaults. It's where the program's set up to really look for resources and files and stuff that it needs. Um, it also, if you're asking Esri for support and they need to go in, it's, they know where it is um, because you probably will forget, you know, six months down the line where you installed it to. So don't worry about it. So we're going to click next. Uh, do you want to participate in the Esri experience uh, program? That's up to you. It does send feedback back to Esri on how you're using the application. If you have bug, encounter bugs or crashes or things like that. So it's good for the overall development of the software but if you're concerned about sending esri information um they're they don't share it they don't do, i mean it's all for their internal use we're not talking about google and facebook stuff where they share everything with everybody uh, so it's entirely up to you now i will say this if you have limited bandwidth because this is going to be sending things via the internet if you have limited bandwidth, you probably want to uncheck that, especially if you're a big organization with a lot of users. Again, it's up to you. Um, I'll leave it checked. And then I'm going to click the install button here. So this is going to start the install. Now, this install can take a while. It really depends on several factors. Um, you're also going to get the little warnings that you need to let the application or let the system make changes so we're gonna click yes to that anyway is what i was saying is this can take a while to run this install depending on your system the speed of your hard drive um, what you're copying it from is it coming across the network all of those kind of things can impact the the speed of this install so we're going to let it install i'll probably go ahead and fast forward the video so you don't have to sit here and watch it copying a bunch of files at this point so We'll let this run. Okay, as you can see, the installation for Arc Pro is complete. I will say this, that was pretty fast. Arc Pro is, is pretty fast to get installed. Um, now on my system, I have to admit, I'm running some pretty high speed hard drives. Um, I've got an NVMe um, solid state drive on here as well as traditional solid state drives. So that was pretty fast. Your system may not be nearly as fast. The other thing I'll say is if you're installing Arc Map, which runs through a very similar process, the, the Arc Desktop, the Arc Map, Arc Catalog is, um, it will take a little bit longer. I've seen those installs take, you know, 50 to percent, well, basically one and a half to two times as long as Arc Pro. But again, that's largely going to be dependent on your system. 
Notice you have this checkbox to run Arc Pro now that will launch the application. Now I have two service packs I need to install, two patches here. So I'm not going to, to do that. So I'm going to uncheck the box and click finish. Okay. So at this point, Arc Pro is installed on your machine and you could start running it. But it, I always like to make sure it's up to date with patches. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. We're going to start with the 251 patch by double clicking on it again in my downloads folder. Click open. It launches the setup program. And we're going to click the update button. And again, my system wants me to allow it to make this change. So I'm going to hit yes. Now, the other thing I'm going to add to this, to install the application um, and or the patches, um, you must have administrative rights on your computer to do this. So if you're in a work environment, your IT department may not allow you to do this. You'd have to coordinate this installation with them so that they could uh, be there to provide rights or a user account to, to make this happen. Okay, so again, I'm not going to run Pro because I've got one more service patch to install. That's going to be this one. So double click it, I click open, it launches the installer. I click update. Same user account access to allow the change, hit yes. And it's going to install the new files. It's finished. And again, I'm not going to run Arc Pro because, you know, that's not what this is. This is just installing it. So I'm going to click finish to that. Now, we have installed Arc Pro. We've installed the two service patches and we would be ready to go. But one thing I want to step back really quick and say, well, what if you've already downloaded those files and unzipped them somewhere? Like I had mentioned going to a file server and you wanted to install the files from an already downloaded position, right? So we're going to go in. I remember when it unzipped uh, the install files from the download file, right? It created this Arc Pro 2.5 folder. So this is where the install files are. So if I double click on the 2.5 folder, you can see an Arc GIS Pro folder here. I double click it. This is the install file. So to install it from this location, Without having done, I would just run this MSI file. So I would double click it. It would launch the installer. Now I already have it installed. Obviously, you just saw me do that. So you're not going to get the same thing. This is to either repair it or remove it. Um, what you would see when you ran this would be the same kind of wizard workflow that we just went through to install it from the download file, with the exception of having to unzip anything, right? So it would be after that, do you want to launch the install point from there? So uh, you'd see slightly different, but this is the file you would run. And again, you would still need to be an administrator. I'm going to cancel this and yes, I want to cancel the installation. But this would be the file you would run if it had already been downloaded, right? If you'd already downloaded the install files and unzip that the, the uh, installation files to either your server or to local drive, whatever. Anyway, you get the, hopefully get the idea on that. So now there you go, we've, we've got it installed and we can go from there. You've seen the basics on how this works, um, how you download the files. I hope you found this useful and informative. So remember that we here at EGIS Associates uh, are, are here to really help you, right? Consume that power of place. When you look at the fact that over 80% of all the data we collect in our heads, in spreadsheets and databases and CAD files, whatever you want to uh, say, is tied to some physical location. Incorporating the spatial part of analysis and data, whatnot, really expands the use of all of your data, really gets you to the place where you can make the most out of that information. So we really want to help you do that. Um, do keep in mind, we're now part of the Davy Resource Group. And what that really means is we have even more resources available to help you uh, when you need it the most. So whether that's implementing enterprise GIS or integrating GIS with other systems like work order management or SCADA or um, uh, 
asset management, utility billing, whatever it is, we can help you with that. If you're trying to figure out how to implement some of these, what do you need to do next, right? We can do that for you through strategic planning and needs assessments. If you don't have enough staff, maybe you're a one person shop and you've got a big project and you need some assistance. Maybe you've never set up ArcGIS Enterprise. We've done a lot of that here recently. We've helped several organizations uh, install and configure ArcGIS Enterprise, plan for their IT infrastructure to support it and all that. We can do that. If you need help just maintaining your data, we can do that. You need help doing some analysis, we can help you with that. Uh, doesn't matter. And of course, we provide training support services. So whether you need classes on how to migrate to ArcGIS Pro from the old desktop, you want to know how to manage your Arc server or Arc enterprise environment, we can help you with that. Um, if you just want a safety net, pick up the phone to call because you're having a problem. We can provide you with support options uh, for that as well. So with that, again, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it informative. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. If you would have a topic for another video, I'm still working on one about how to um, use general functions to maintain parcel data. So that's still in the works from somebody's request earlier. Sorry it's taken so long. But um, again, also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Do that. Hit the notification button so you know when we post new videos. And uh, feel free to reach out with it to us uh, via our website at www.egisassociates.com. Give us a call at 678-710-9710 or reach us at info at egisassociates.com. So uh, with that, folks, I'll see y'all all in the next video. Thanks.